Welcome to the installation video of the Curt 60624 Underbed Install Kit with the 60611 Double Lock EZR Gooseneck on a 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. To begin, remove the spare tire to provide more room for the installation. Depending on the year of the vehicle, the entire heat shield may be removed, or a portion can be cut out between the bed support to accommodate for the gooseneck center section. For this installation, we will be removing the entire heat shield. To do this, remove the four fasteners. The heat shield will not be reinstalled. Run a one half inch bolt through the cross arm threads to remove excess powder coating or debris from the rear cross arm. Repeat this on all six of the cross arm mounting holes. On some truck models, the rear driver side plastic wheel well cover will need to be trimmed. To define the trim area, place the side plate on the frame and use the provided hardware to temporarily hold it in place. The trim area on the plastic cover will be located over the gooseneck handle hole as shown in the diagram in the included instructions. Measure and mark the designated trim area. The area should be one and a half inches high and two and a half inches wide on the top with tapered sides. Use a rotary cutting tool or aviation shears to trim the area. Some models may require the metal flange below the bed to be bent outward with a pliers or removed to allow the handle to move without interference. If the flange is cut, be sure to coat any exposed metal with the touch-up paint or rust preventative. Remove the side plate. Next, prepare to insert the rear cross arm. Notice that the holes are closer to one edge. This edge should be facing the back of the truck when inserted. So after the cross arm is rotated into position, this edge will be facing downwards. Slide the rear cross arm between the frame and the bottom of the truck, roughly above the rear tire. Once the cross arm has spanned the frame rails, use a wrench to rotate the cross arm so that the holes are offset towards the ground. Push it towards the rear of the vehicle. Position the front cross arm so that the leg without the holes is towards the cab in an upside down V orientation. Slide the cross arm between the truck frame and the floor of the truck bed in front of the rear cross arm. Once this cross arm has spanned the frame rails, use a wrench to rotate the cross arm until the leg with the holes faces the rear of the vehicle. Note that the cylinder in the center section is offset towards the rear of the vehicle. Prepare the center section by inserting a half inch carriage bolt in through one of the centermost slots on the side that will face the front of the truck. With the serrations of the bolt retainers facing outward, place the retainer onto the carriage bolt. Use one of the included spacers to help push the bolt retainer into position. Repeat this on the opposite attachment point. Before lifting the hitch into position, make sure that the center locator is inserted into the cylinder. Lift the center section into place, positioning it between the two cross arms. Align the square holes in the center section with the holes in the cross arm and loosely attach the front cross arm using the provided half inch carriage bolts and hex flange nuts. The carriage bolt over the fuel tank should be inserted through the front cross arm with a spacer. Once the front cross arm hardware is loosely installed, attach the rear cross arm using four half inch hex bolts with conical toothed washers. These bolts will thread directly into the cross arm. Next, place the side plate against the frame at the mounting location on the driver's side in between the cross arms. Loosely attach into the factory weld nuts in the frame with the supplied 16 millimeter bolts, washers, and lock washers. Clean the weld nuts if the bolts are hard to start. Repeat this process on the opposite side. When loosely installed, slide the side plates rearward, then adjust the center section to ensure that the hitch is square and centered on the vehicle. On 2015 models or older, you will need to fish wire these bolts into place. To do this, refer to the diagram in the supplied instruction sheet. Now, attach the rear flange nut on the side plate to the rear cross arm using a half inch hex bolt and conical tooth washer. Place a 5 8 inch carriage bolt and spacer through the front flange in the side plate and front cross arm. Secure with a half inch hex nut. Repeat this process on the opposite side. 
Be sure to torque all the hardware installed in the cross arms and side plates in the order specified in the included instruction sheet before beginning the drilling process. From underneath the truck, use the center locator as a guide to drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole straight up through the truck bed. Next, using the center section as a guide, drill the safety chain loops from underneath the truck bed using a 5 8 inch hole saw. Make sure that the holes are located in the lower section of the truck bed ribs. A short pilot bit with a small right angle drill can ease the process of drilling the safety chain holes. Optionally, you may want to drill the pilot holes from below and finish the drilling process from above the truck bed. With a 4 inch hole saw, drill a hole from the top of the truck using the previously drilled pilot hole as a guide. We recommend using a cutting fluid to ease the drilling process. Continue drilling until the orange shavings can be seen from the locator guide and the cut section can be removed. Finish drilling the safety chain holes from above the truck bed if pilot holes were drilled from below. Deburr all of the drilled holes and spray any exposed metal with a rust inhibitor or coat with touch up paint. To create a clean finished look, insert the rubber edging around the 4 inch hole. Next, place the chrome trim ring into position and fasten it with the three flathead cap screws. From inside the truck bed, place the two U-bolts down through the drilled holes. From underneath the truck, place a washer, then a spring, followed by another washer and nylock nut onto each of the four U-bolt legs. Tighten the nuts until they are flush with the bottom of the U-bolt. Once installed, be sure to check that each U-bolt moves freely from the bed of the truck. Next, insert the cast lock pin into the ball cylinder from the driver's side with the hole located on top. Insert the handle from the outside of the vehicle on the driver's side through the holes in the center section. Slide a washer and compression spring over the handle before inserting the handle rod into the locking pin. Secure it with a hex head flange screw and nylock nut. Torque all hardware to the values specified in the supplied instruction sheet. Now you're ready to reinstall the spare tire. Lastly, find a suitable place for the product usage sticker. Now that everything is installed, let's go over the operation of your new Curt EZR gooseneck hitch. To remove the pin and reposition the ball, pull the handle out as far as possible and rotate it clockwise until the locking pin is disengaged and locked out. Insert the ball into the cylinder by aligning the ball groove with the cylinder pin. If the groove and pin are not aligned, simply rotate the ball until it drops into place. Rotate the handle counterclockwise until the locking pin snaps back into position. Before towing, always double check to make sure that the pin passes completely through the ball and cylinder. When not in use, the gooseneck ball can be flipped over and conveniently stored within the cylinder and covered with a provided rubber cap. This completes the installation of the Curt 60624 underbed install kit with the 60611 double lock EZR gooseneck hitch on a 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Carefully read all of the included towing information and be sure to use your safety chain loops every time you tow. Thanks for watching this video. Now you can bring it.